ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo. Hatid namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan. Ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Doña Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This. 106.3 DWBR FM. Music, arts, physical education, and health. Mga aralin na dapat malaman inyong tututukan dito sa 106.3 Dance Radio ang istasyong magbibigay ng edukasyon kahit sa man at ang siglit aralan sa radyo 106.3 DWDR-FM Sa mapit, learning is amazing! Isang masining na umaga sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga uh, avid listeners, ang grade 9 learners. Okay? Mag-shoutout tayo sapagkat this morning we're going to have a merge uh, component and that is music and arts education. So, diretsyo na tayo Sir MJ and Sir Ibes. Greetings sa aking uh, mga hawak na klase, ang 9 Darwin, 9 Mendel at 9 Pasture. Yan. Mag-attendance na kayo mga anak sa ating chat box, hashtag MapiQuest. Yes, so, Sir Dante. Igreet ko lang din ang aking mga klase na 9 Avocado, 9 Calamansi, and 9 Lanzones. Mga anak, comment down your section and your name, including our hashtag MapiQuest. Ganun din ang mga klase ng ating mga iba pang co-teachers na sila Ma'am Annalisa, Sir Francis, Sir Arnel Simon, Ma'am Chatra, Sir Mark Bagamas Pied, Sir Francis, sino pa ba yung mga hindi ko nabanggit? Ma'am Joanna. Yes. Ma'am Ma Annalisa. Uh -uh. Oh, sorry, Bess, ikaw uh, na. <laughs> good morning po sa lahat ng aking mga estudyante, ang grade 9 SPA and grade 9 Mango. Mag-comment na po sa ating chat box, your name, your section, and our official hashtag for today, hashtag MapiQuest. So we're encouraging our grade 9 learners to participate well, listen, and learn to our uh, lesson this morning in music and arts. Pagkakatang ito, pakinggan natin na nakaprepare na recorded RBI material for music education. Okay? Kami po ay magbabalik yes. after ng RBI airing and music. education and health. Mga arali na dapat malaman ang inyong tututukan dito sa Dance Radio. Dance Radio. Ang istasyong magbibigay ng edukasyon kahit saan. Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Totonya Aurora National High School. Santa Rita Aurora Isabel. Ang silid aralan sa radyo. 106.3 DWDRFM DWDRFM Dance Radio Sa Mape, learning is amazing Good day, grade 9 learners I am glad to be with you in a 30-minute broadcast I hope that you will enjoy our interesting topic Please get your writing materials and learning activity sheets so we can start our lesson in Music 9. The learning activity sheets provide you different activities that will help you become familiar with the topics or lessons about the romantic period. Assistance of your parents, siblings, or relatives is encouraged in answering the learning activity sheets particularly in the activities where you need to perform tasks. Are you ready to start? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma we, we are, are ready. ready. Good luck. 
From the previous lesson in music, you have learned about music of the classical period. What are the topics we have discussed? Mom, we have discussed about the performance practice during the classical period. Very good! What more? Ma'am, we also describe the musical elements of given classical period pieces. Precisely! Any more answer? Ma'am, we also listened and talked about the composition of the great composers of the classical period. That is right! In the history of Western music, the term classical refers to the period from 1750 to 1820. What are the elements and characteristics of music during the classical era? Mom, the music of the classical era has a lighter and clearer texture. It is mainly homophonic. That is right! What about the melody during classical era? Mom, the melody is simple and easy to remember. You are right! How about the dynamics? Mom, there is extensive use of dynamics, like phrases are very regular and of the same length. Great! Remember the term classical denotes conformity with the principles and characteristics of ancient Greece and Roman literature and its art and art which were formal, elegant, simple, free, and dignified. Who are the great composers of the classical period? Mom, these are the great composers during the classical period. We have Franz Joseph Hayden, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Ludwig van Beethoven. Amazing! At the end of this episode, you are expected to explain the performance practice like in setting, composition, role of composers or performers and audience during the romantic period and evaluate music and music performances using guided rubrics. Let's continue after a short break. Ano ang pinakanaalala ninyo tungkol sa ating aralin sa music? Ang pag-awit ng mga katutubong awitin sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. Tama! Minsan nga, nakaktutuwa ang mga awitin na gumagamit ng iba't ibang lengguahe. Pero ang saya-saya, di ba? Hindi natin nalilimutan ang mga linya sa mga awitin. Nakatatak ang mga ito sa ating puso. sit 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 alibang bang, sa laginto, sa lagubang, ang babae sa lansangan, kung gumiri parang tandang. O di ba? Alam na alam ko pa. <laughs> Sa true, Beshi, ito naman sa akin. Kasasayang eh, kasasayang sayang eh, hey, lihat no na jow, kasasayang sayang eh. Napakanta rin ba kayo habang pinakikinggan ang himig? Hi! Kay sarap namang balikan ang ating mga natutunan. Pinalakas ng musika ang ating mga pandamdam. Inaantig ang ating damdamin at ibinabalik ang mga ala-ala. Ang musika ay isang katangit-tangit elemento sa mundo na nagbibigay at patuloy na magbibigay kulay sa ating buhay. Isang mensahe mula sa Mapi Learning Area at ng himpilang ito. Kayo nakikinig sa Music Grade 9. Kasama si Tietje Ninyo, Jenny Sigil Yamil. This time, you will listen to a music titled, A Thousand Years. A Thousand Years, ma? Yes, A Thousand Years.
individualism and freedom of expression. You're right! It belongs to the music of romantic period. Romantic period, ma? Correct! Romantic period is described as a cultural movement that stress emotion, imagination, individualism, and freedom of expression. These characteristics are evident in music, art, and literature of the era. Nationalism was also incorporated in the music of the Romantic period. Would you mind to give example of nationalistic song composition that time? Yes, yes. ma'am. Ma example of a composition that shows nationalism is the Polonaise of Frederick Chopin. Impressive! Which is a dance composition for piano and is famous in Poland until today. Musical nationalism is the term used to describe art music that was created with the intention to promote nationalism or help inspire patriotic sentiments. What about in our present time? Here in our country, what are some examples of nationalistic songs? Ma'am, these are some examples of nationalistic songs. Lupang Hinirang, Ako'y Isang Pinoy, Bayan Ko, and Mambo Mambo, Magsaysay Mabuhay. Very good! Do you know that Ludwig von Beethoven was the one who breeds the music from classical? To romantic era by expressing his passion and emotions through his music? No ma'am. What happened after Ludwig van Beethoven reads the music of classical to romantic era ma'am? Interesting question. After bridging the music of classical to romantic era, other composers were inspired by this musical style that they started to use music as a means of expressing their emotions and individuality. This change in musical form also paved the way for expanding the orchestra as the composers explored various instrumentations. Piano music of the Romantic period is in free form such as fantasy, rhapsody, ballad, and nocturne. Program music was expressed in tone poems such as symphony, fantastic. Most of the musical compositions of the era portray literature, history, emotions, and nature. Did you get it clearly? Yes, ma'am. This time, let's listen and meet the composers of the Romantic period by evaluating their music and music performances during the period. <laughs> Who are the composers during the Romantic period? Ma'am, these are the composers during the Romantic period. We have Niccolo Paganini, Frederick Chopin, Franz Liszt, Robert Schumann, Hector Berlioz, Peter Litz Tchaikovsky, and Camille Saint Saens. Excellent! <laughs> this time, let's listen to the music of Niccolo Paganini, titled The Carnival of Venice. You have just listened to a music titled The Carnival of Venice. The musical skills of Niccolo Paganini started with playing the mandolin at the age of five. He eventually transferred his training 
to the violin at the age of seven with different violin professors in Italy. His violin teachers could not keep up with the progress of his violin skills that he kept on transferring from one violin teacher to another. Now, what can you say about the work of Niccolo Paganini? Ma'am, Paganini's compositions are inspired by the use of the string instruments like violin. Because of that, he became the most famous violin virtuoso in the world. Impressive! Piano music of the Romantic period was filled with innovations. Most of the compositions require a high level of virtuosity. Some were reinventions of sonatas from the classical era. Frederick Chopin excelled in using piano that time. Let's listen to the music of Chopin titled Polonize. Polonize, man? Yes, Polonize. You have just heard the music of Frederick Chopin titled Polonize. He was known as the poet of the piano and began to play piano at the age four. He composed Polonize at the age of seven and wrote almost exclusively for piano. His music is recognized worldwide for its beauty and his works on the piano are mainstays in the piano repertoire. From the composition of Chopin, how will you describe his composition? Ma'am, his music is characterized by its beautiful tone, rhythmic flexibility, grace, and elegance. Great! The next composer under piano music is Franz Liszt. Let us listen to his composition titled La Campanella. You have just listened to the music titled La Campanella. Piano music is Franz Liszt. The best word that describes the works of Franz Liszt is virtuosity. He was known as the virtuoso pianist, a composer and the busiest musician during the Romantic era. He displayed remarkable talent at a young age and easily understood sight reading. He was known for his symphonic poems where he translated great literary works into musical compositions. What are the other compositions of Liszt aside from La Campanella? Ma'am, the other compositions of Liszt are Libestrum No. 3, Liszt Hungarian Rhapsodies, were originally written for solo piano but many were arranged for orchestra or other combinations of instruments. Excellent! The next composer under piano music is Robert Schumann. Let's listen to his composition titled Piano Concerto in a Minor, Opus 54. You have just listened to a music titled Piano Concerto in a Minor, Opus 54. 
one of the famous romantic composers that beautifully combined music and words is Robert Schumann. He was a composer and music critic. His father wanted him to study law. And so, in 1821, Schumann went to Leipzig to study law. However, he spent most of his time with musical and literary circles through the effort of Friedrich Wick, who took some time to teach Schumann how to play the piano. It was also this time when he wrote some of his first piano compositions. Schumann founded the music journal, Journal New Sweet Grift for Music, wherein he edited and wrote music criticism for his publication. What are other compositions of Schumann? Ma'am, the other compositions of Schumann are Abbey Variation, Opus 1, David Van Deller Stance, Opus 6. Impressive! Aside from violin and piano music, we also have program music during the Romantic period. Program music is an instrumental composition that conveys images or scenes to tell a short story without text or lyrics. It enthuses the imagination of the listener. The composer under this music are Hector Berlioz, Peter Lich, Tchaikovsky, and Camille Saint Saens. Let's listen to the famous composition of Berlioz titled Symphony Fantastic. You have just listened to a music titled Symphony Fantastic. Hector Berlioz is a French romantic composer born on December 11, 1803. At this young age, he was learned to play guitar and flute but never became skilled in specific musical instruments. The next program music composer is Peter Litz Tchaikovsky. Let us listen to his composition titled The Nutcracker. You have just listened to a music titled The Nutcracker by Peter Litz Tchaikovsky who was born on May 7, 1840 in Botkins, Russia, was known for his ballet music. He first studied law and became a law clerk in St. Petersburg in his 20s. He reveled and began to study music at the conservatory also in St. Petersburg as a big fan of Mozart, Tchaikovsky studied composition with Anton Rubinstein and moved to Moscow and started teaching at the new conservatory. He composed hunting melodies and used a great deal of folk music in his symphonic works. What are the other composition of Tchaikovsky? Ma'am, we have Swan Lake. Sleeping Beauty Piano Concerto Number One. Absolutely correct. The last composer and their program music is Camille Saint Saens. Let's listen to the composition of Saens titled Finale. Just listen to a music titled Finale. 
Camille Saint Saens was known as a talented musician. From an early age, he was born in Paris on October 9, 1835, and started his music through the help of his aunt by teaching him piano lesson when he was only two years old. He was considered as a composer who creates elegant music, neat, clean, polished, and never excessive. One of these examples is this one. This one, man? Yes, this one. As an organist and one of the best pianists of his time, he sat very still at the piano and played gracefully and cool. What are the other compositions of science? Ma'am, Carnival of the Animals, Dave's Macabre, and his Symphony Number no. 3. Over 300 works, and usually in all genres. Very good! How do you feel listening to the music of the great composers of the Romantic Time? I hope you enjoyed listening to them. Let's continue after a short break. Nangangamba baka magka-COVID? Ah, ah, ah! Huwag mag-alala! Narito ang mga tips upang makaiwas sa COVID-19. Una, social distancing. Umiwas muna sa matataong lugar. Huwag lumabas ng bahay kung hindi naman kinakailangan. Kung may distansya, safe ka! Ikalawa, panatiliin malinis ang katawan. Ugaliin ang paghugas ng kamay. Sabon at alkohol are real. Palakasin ang katawan. At vitamins ay huwag kalilimutan. At ikatlo, Laging magsuot ng face mask bilang proteksyon laban sa virus. virus. Kung protektado, siguradong sa virus ay nakatibo. Mga kapatid, tips ay tandaan upang COVID-19 ay maiwasan. Uy, Pedro! Nagpabakuna ka na ba? Oo naman, Petra. Bakunado na yata to. Dapat ang bawat isa ay mahikayat ng magpabakuna. Bata, matanda, tara na! Diyan, Pedro, kung may bakuna, siguradong protektado tayo laban sa virus. Kaya magpapavaksin na rin ako. Tandaan, magpabakuna, siguradong protektado ka. Isang palala mula sa MAPI Learning Area at ng himpilang ito. Kayo nakikinig sa Music Grade 9. Kasama si Teacher Ninya Jerry Sigil Yamil You have familiarized yourselves with the different composers of the Romantic period and their compositions. This time on page 1 of your learning activity sheets, answer activity 1, titled, Point Me Out. Point Me Out. Directions. Identify the composers of the Romantic period from each column. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Let us answer column 1. Who is the composer of the Romantic period? Here are the choices. Johann Sebastian Bach, Franz Schubert, or Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? What is your answer? Man, Franz Schubert. Correct! You may continue answering the remaining items in your most convenient time after the broadcast. Let's continue answering the activities on page 2, activity 2, titled, Draw the Music. Draw the Music. Directions. Listen to the recording of Hector Berlois. Symphony Fantastic. And draw your own interpretation on a separate sheet of paper. Write a short evaluation of your drawing and be guided with the rubrics presented on page 2. Let us move on to the next activity, Activity 3, titled Express That Emotion. Express That Emotion. Directions. 
express what you feel by creating a two stanza musical composition. You can use any language or dialect in writing your musical composition. The criteria for assessment presented on page two. Do all the activity in your most convenient time after the broadcast. Let us summarize your learning today. What have you learned from this lesson? Ma'am, I learned that music of the Romantic period is described as a cultural movement that stress emotion, imagination, individualism, and freedom of expression. These characteristics are evident in music, art, and literature of the era. Great! What more? Ma'am, I learned that Ludwig van Beethoven reads the music from classical to romantic era by expressing his passion and emotions through his music. Impressive answer! Any additional learnings? I learned about the great composers and their compositions like Niccolo Paganini, Frederick Chopin, Franz Liszt, Robert Schumann, Hector Berlois, Peter Litz Tchaikovsky, and Camille Saint Saenz. Amazing! For your next activity on page 2, answer the reflection part. Directions. Complete the following unfinished sentences. Do this activity in your most convenient time after the broadcast. That's all for today, my dear learners. I hope you have learned a lot from our discussion. Do not forget to message your respective MAPI teachers through their mobile phones or messenger chats if you have questions. I would like to acknowledge the teachers behind this RBI lesson. Teacher Dante and Hulaton, our script writer. Teacher Annalisa B. Versosa, our content editor. Teacher Beverly L. Ramirez, our language editor. Teacher Arnel V. Lagasca, our technical specialist and our overall quality assurance team, Mom Jacqueline L. Partible, Head Teacher 3 of the Filipino Learning Area. Sir Ferdinand G. Del Rosario, Head Teacher 3 of ESP Learning Area. Mom Emily C. Valenzuela, Head Teacher 3 of the Araling Panlipunan Learning Area. Sir Leonidas C. Bernardo, Head Teacher 3 of MAPE Learning Area. And Dr. Rodrigo V. Pasqua, Chief Education Supervisor and Officer in Charge of the school. This is your radio teacher, Teacher Nina Genesee Guillermo, saying, The music is not in the notes. Bad in the Silence in Between by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Thank you everyone and goodbye! Coming up next is our RBI Live discussion. Music, Arts, Physical Education, and Health. Mga aralin na dapat malaman Yung tututukan dito sa Dance Radio. Dance Radio. Ang istasyong magbibigay ng edukasyon kahit saan. Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Totonya Aurora National High School. Santa Rita Aurora Isabela. Isabel. Ang silid aralan sa Raradyo. 106.3 DWTRFM. DWTRFM. Dance Radio. Sa MAPE, Sa Mape learning, learning is, is amazing.
wala nang makakapigil pa. Sulo, Arangkada, 106.3 Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Okay, we're back. You have just listened to, to our radio based instruction in music education 9. Yan. So, para balikan natin, the, 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 the title of our music for third quarter is Romantic Music. Okay? Balikan lang natin panandalian at uh, to have a short review of what transpired during the second quarter of our music education. In our second uh, second quarter, we talk about classical music, okay? Ano nga ba ang classical music or ano ang characteristic ng classical music? Okay, tignan natin sa ating chat box. O mga learners, grade 9 learners, i-chat na ninyo kung ano ba ang mga characteristic ng, ng classical music. Sir Ibes and Sir MJ, Check lang natin sandali to find it out kung alam pa ng ating mga grade 9 learners ang napag-aralan nila during the second quarter. What are the different characteristics of classical music? Meron na nag-chat, sir. No? Okay, ang sige, sir. Niya, elegant. Okay, very good. Aside from elegant. Meron din, sir. Sabi niya formal. Okay, very good. O oh, yan, meron rin nag-chat at sabi niya, it is a simple prayed and dignified. So therefore, the term classical music denotes conformity with the principle and characteristic of ancient Greece and Roman literature and art which were formal, elegant, simple, prayed, and dignified. Okay? A while ago, uh, napakinggan natin yun a thousand years, Sir Ibes and Sir MJ. How does it feel listening from that music? Uh... <laughs> Sasagutin ko ba yan, sir? Yes. O, why estudyante ang hinihintay mo? Tayo na ang sumagot, sir. Uh, while listening to the music of a thousand years, uh, para akong na-in love. Yes, okay. sir. <laughs> in love ka din ba, sir? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> okay. Yung message mismo kasi nung... Uh, lyrical. Ah, ah, yes. Okay, sige. Uh, it's, something, uh, it's something to do with our emotion. What about sa ating mga grade 9 learners? How does it feel listening from that music a thousand years? years. Ayan. Mag-chat na kayo sa ating chat box and later on babasahin namin yan mga yan after the airing. Okay. Now, ano nga ba ang romantic music, Sir MJ, that is our main topic for our third quarter music? Simulan na natin. Yes. Pag sinabi natin romantic music it's described as a cultural movement that is stress emotion, imagination, individualism, and freedom of expression. So, yun po ang meaning ng romantic period. Uh, stressing emotion and freedom of expression. Okay. Sige, Sir MJ. Thank you very much for uh, defining what is romantic music. Now, palalimin natin kung ano nga ba ang romantic music out of giving the different characteristic of a romantic music. Sir Ibes? Okay. So, um, what are the characteristics? Meron tayo nito. First is, Use of extreme expressions and emotions. Check yan. Number two, a freedom in composing. Uh, hindi na siya limited sa sacred music. Hindi na lang siya pang church. Next, expansion of the orchestra. Nanggaling yan sa classical. Ngayon, pinaganda ng romantic period. Emphasis on lyrical melodies. Oh, yan ang sinasabi mo kanina. Yes, sir. And then, love, nature, religion and nationalism are its main theme. Oh. Ayan, Sir Sir Ives. Ayan, so hopefully nakuha ng ating mga learners ang different characteristic na ganun pala ang ating uh, tawag dito, ang romantic music. Palalimin pa natin lalo Sir MJ out of the different features ng romantic music. Yes, Sir. So, umpisahan natin yan sa nationalism. 
So composers use materials from their history of their native country to highlight their culture. So may mga kanta sila na about nationalism. Dito sa atin, sir. Lupang hinirang. Lupang hinirang. Ang, ang bayan ang ko. Bayan yes. Ko. Yan. Next, exoticism uses influences from foreign lands in their composition. We have also harmony and melody. So the lyrical, poetic, emotional, and impressive, and it's chromatic. Chromatic in nature. Rhythm and tempo. We have compound rhythm, free rhythm, extensive use of accelerandos and retardandos, rubato or the subtle rhythmic, manipulation of no and became popular. So, yan po ang uh, features ng romantic uh, music. So we have yes, also sir. the dynamics. So, paggamit ng crescendos and decrescendos o yung uh, paglakas at paghina ng sound. Correct. That is the use of very loud or FF and as loudly as possible, the FFFF. PP is the very soft and PPPP as the as uh, softly as possible. So that is dynamics. And then pagdating sa texture, uh, ma ma feel natin magkakaiba ang mood and emotions. And uh, the addition of orchestra, nagkaroon tayo ng richer tone color. So that is texture. So okay. Sir, Yan. So in general, uh, ang music kasi, we have adopted it from the classical period. Adopt pa rin natin yan. Pagdating ng romantic na nilagyan ng emotion na ito at masalo pa nilang in-enhance kung ano meron sa classical music. Okay? Music of the romantic period can be divided into two and that is the vocal form and the instrumental form. Ang vocal form, dyan papasok yung tinatawag nating art song. Next slide, Sir MJ. Art song at saka yun, symphony. Once we talk about art song, pakibalik sa Sir MJ, it is a composition for a solo voice or piano, vocal piece or work that plays a great importance in the written text or symbolic meaning of the text. While the other one, kapag sinabi nating symphonic poem, also called tone poem developed by Franz Liszt na narinig naman ng mga learner natin kanina. An orchestral piece that portrayed the story on hand or had a literary or artistic background. Dito naman pumampasok yung mga music of the romantic period under instrumental music. Nandyan pa rin ang orchestra. Uh, under this, it is being divided into the following uh, following uh, musical instrument. instruments. We have piano that is invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori. It can produce both soft and loud sound unlike harpsichord and the organ. Okay? Pakita nga natin ng sample. Yeah, that is an example of a piano. Okay? Next, string instrument, a classical instrument will still use, grew in number to balance the sound from the other group of the instrument. It's the string instrument, kinukuting ting. Plucking, something like that. Pakita nga natin mga pictures, sir. Ayan. Uh, on your screen are the different example of a string instrument being used during the romantic time. And of course, we have also the woodwind instrument. Composers added the flute, clarinet, oboe, English horn, and the piccolo. We have here some example. Ayan. Flute, piccolo, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. Okay? Aside from it, we have also brass and percussion instrument like gong, brass drum, and a snare drum were added. Timpani is always used in the orchestra. Patingin na natin yung mga example ng brass like the horn, the tuba, saxophone, and many more. And there, the percussion instrument naman, ang mga example nito ay ang gong, xylophone, bass drum, snare drum, and etc. So those are the different musical or uh, instrumental music that is being used during the romantic time. Take note of that. Now, of course, we have a lot of uh, tawag dito, composer and musician who really excel this time. Sino-sino nga ba sila? Let me begin with the famous composer, Niccolo Paganini. Yeah. Niccolo Paganini, born October 27, and of course, he became the famous violin, violin virtuoso in the world, and that is the title of Niccolo Paganini. 
Yan. Ang dami-dami. Nabanggit na kanina sa ating recorded radio-based instruction ang mga work ni Nicolo Paganini. Sino pa ba, Sir Ibes? Aside from Paganini, we have also Frederick Chopin. He is known as the poet of the piano. Was considered world-renowned pianist and composer. So, marami din siyang mga uh, composition. Narinig natin yan kanina sa ating radio-based instruction. Tama, Sir MJ? Yes, and we have also Franz Liszt. So, si Franz Liszt naman, uh, dinedicate niya ang sarili niya sa mga piano music. So, people consider him as a generous composer. Bakit siya tinawag na generous composer? Kasi, sinishare niya yung kanyang oras at kanyang money sa mga orphans, victims of disaster, and taught music to many students for free. So, yung mga kanyang composition, narinig din po natin yan kanina sa RBI. Yes, Sir Dante? And of course, sir, in addition, we have Robert Schumann. Okay? So, Schumann... Um, Schumann born in 1810 at Zwickau, famous composer that worked intensively between music and words, was a composer and considered himself as the heir to the original creative tradition of Beethoven and Schubert. So therefore, he has been influenced by Beethoven and Schubert the way na mag-create siya ng kanyang composition. In 1834, founded Music Journal where he edited and wrote numerous work for his publication. Okay? And of course, the next uh, program music that we have is Hector Berloy. He was born on December 11, 1803 in France, romantic composer. At young age, he learned to play guitar and flute. Of course, napakinggan ng ating mga learner ang tungkol sa Symphony Fantastic, which composed of first, second movement, third movement, fourth movement, and the fifth movement. Take note, grade 9 learners, dito maglalaro ang inyong performance task, activity 2, and activity 3 that is to be explained later on by Sir Ibes and Sir MJ kung ano ang gagawin niyo out of Symphony Fantastic. Hector Berlay really uh, exemplified a lot of things in this composition, Symphony Fantastic. Sir Ibes, we move on to the Russian composer. Okay, so we have here... Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Ayan, si Tchaikovsky nakikita natin sa screen kung ano yung itsura niya. Born on May 7, 1840. Ay, magkasunod lang kami. Was known for his ballet music. Yun naman ang ano ni Tchaikovsky. Ballet music. Ang alam ko siya ata sa Nutcracker eh. Ay, Nutcracker. Yeah, he's the one. Yeah, na kung saan ginagamit niya. talaga yung music niya. Yes, sir. Sa mga... Ballerina. Uh, yung yes. cartoon na napanood ko this morning. <laughs> He continued his music career in New York and conducted his works and experienced deal of fame. Oh, yan po yung mga ano niya, mga composition ni Peter Tchaikovsky. Romeo and Juliet, Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, and Nutcracker. Yes, we have also another composer. We have Camille Saint Saens. He is born on October 9, 1835, at Paris, at age two. Two years old, sir. He started music and played piano. Napakagaling naman. At the age three, nagko-compose na siya ng piano piece. Diyos ko naman. So, ang maririnig mo sa kanyang mga composition, elegante, malinis, at super polished. So, this time, he is an organist and the best pianist. So, ito yung kanyang mga gawa. So, madami yan. Yung kanyang famous work, Carnival of the Animals. Ayan, of course. Sir MJ and Sir Ibis, bakit ba kailangan natin pag-aralan ang romantic music? Okay? Kung tutusin, 18th century is pa yan, tagal-tagal na yan. Okay? Uh, let's try to enlighten our grade 9 learners. Why do we need to impart to them their composition or the music of the romantic romantic music, romantic period? Sir Ibis? Uh, first reason why it is very important is that composers broaden the scope of emotional content. Yung sabi nga natin kanina, sir, the start of romantic and ay sa transition ng classical tsaka sa romantic kasi, hindi na lang sila nag-focus sa sacred music. Lumabas na yung mga composition nila, kaya lumabas na ang music na mga secular. 
Yeah. Uh, Lim- hindi, dati ka sa limited, very limited. Yes, Ngayon, broadened na siya. They simplified it up. Sir MJ? Number two, we have composers move away from the tightly controlled formal compositions of the Enlightenment period. Instead, music appealed to the hearts and souls of their listeners. The music also celebrated freedom, dignity, and the triumph of the human spirit. So, so ito na yung mga uh, ibang features ng kanilang romantic music. Ramdam natin, hearts and soul. Yes, yes, that is actually in general kasi ang romantic music, it doesn't pertain only for emotional, a uh, personal emotion, but it also, the, the love for nationalistic, kwan, yung nationalism natin, love for our country. In addition, the importance of romantic music is composition of composer are very useful until the present time sa mga big screen, sa tawag ito, other form of arts. Yes. They are actually using the composition Position of the romantic time. So, yan. Yan ang tungkol sa romantic music. Let's try to have the activity of our grade 9 learners. Sir Ibes? For activity number 1, titled Point Me Out, you're going to identify the different composers of the romantic period from each column. You're going to write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Marami kaming na-discuss kanina ng mga romantic composers. Yes. We have also activity to draw that music. So you will be listening a recording of Hector Berlioz Symphonic Fantastic. Narinig nyo po yan sa RBI. Yeah. Yeah. And draw your own interpretation and separate sheet of paper. Write a short evaluation of your drawing and be guided with the rubrics. And of course, for activity 3, express that emotion Express what you feel by creating a two-stanza musical composition. You can use any language or dialect in writing your musical composition, our uh, rubrics, originality 5, content 5, and the composition is 10. You might be asking, sir, kakantayin ba namin ito? No. Hindi nyo kakantayin ito. What you're going to do is, kumbaga, kumbaga okay. gagawa lang kayo ng gagawa lang kayo ng tula composition. Siguro, apat na linya ito, apat na taludtod, na dalawang saknong ang ang gagamitin natin. And that's it. Okay? So, parang dalawa magiging uh, performance activity ng ating learner for music and that is in activity 2 and activity 3. Am I correct, Sir MJ and uh, Sir yes, Ibis? Sir. Ayan. If you have question in regards to the different activities that you are going to perform for the third quarter in music, you just PM your teachers for more explanation on this. So that is our music education for grade 9 for the third quarter. Yes, sir. Ngayon naman, napag-aralan natin ang meaning yes. of romantic, music, yes. characteristics, yes. features, oh. and of course, composers. the different composers. Na, and of course, in addition is the importance of their composition in our present yes. time. Ngayon naman, dumako tayo sa airing ng ating Arts Education 9 for third quarter. And it will focus to neoclassicism and romanticism. Continue listening and learning. Magbabalik kami after the airing. Dito sa Dance Radio. Dance Radio. Ang istasyong magbibigay ng edukasyon kahit saan. Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Totonya Aurora National High School. Santa Rita Aurora Isabel. Ang silid aralan sa radyo. 106.3 DWDRFM. DWDRFM. Dance Radio. Sa mapin, sa mapin, learning is amazing. Good day, grade 9 learners! I am glad to be with you in a 30-minute broadcast. I hope you will be enjoying your interesting topic. Please get your writing materials and learning activity sheets so we can start our lesson in Arts 9. 
The learning activity sheets provide you different activities that will help you become familiar with the topics or lessons about neoclassic and romantic periods. Assistance of your parents, siblings, or relatives is encouraged in answering the learning activity sheets, particularly in the activities where you need to perform tasks. Are you ready to start? Yes, yes ma'am! Good luck! From the previous lesson in arts, you have learned about the arts of Baroque and Renaissance period. What are the major differences of the two periods or era? Ma'am, Renaissance comes from the word Renaitre, which means rebirth, while Baroque was derived from the Portuguese word Barroco which means irregularly shaped pearl or stone. Very good! I really loved the way you differentiate it. How about the characteristics when it comes to their artworks? Mom, characteristics of Renaissance period are as follows. Showed individual people instead of groups, fewer church paintings, Classic Roman and Greek influence depicted the nature or outdoors, focused on defined and precise human anatomy, linear perspective, realism, and depth. Great! How about from the Baroque period? Mom, characteristics of Baroque period tries to draw the viewer in to participate in the scene, depictions, Feel physically and psychologically real, extravagant settings and ornamentation, dramatic use of color, dramatic contrasts between light and dark or shadow, and images are direct, obvious, and dramatic. Very good! We should not also forget the amazing artists during these eras. Who were the significant artists during Renaissance and Baroque art period? Mom, the great artists of Renaissance period were Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello. On the other hand, the great artists of Baroque period were Carlo Baggio, Bernini, Rubens, Rembrandt, and Velasquez. Amazing! These artists from Renaissance and Baroque periods were valued for their skill rather than their intellect or creativity. Am I understood? Yes, yes ma'am! Very good! At the end of this episode, you are expected to analyze art elements and principles in the production of work following a specific art style from the neoclassic and romantic periods, identify distinct characteristics of arts during the neoclassic and romantic periods, identify representative artists from neoclassic and romantic periods, and reflect on and derive the mood, idea, or message from selected artworks from the neoclassic and romantic periods. To know more about the concept of Romanticism and Neoclassicism, let us all listen to an infomercial of personality test titled, What Personality You Are? A Romantic or a Classical? Composed by Teacher Marjan R. Domingo. I'll be right back after this infomercial. What personality you are? A romantic or a classical? What personality you are? A romantic or a classical? The words romantic and classical usefully bring into focus important themes in our personalities. We are all both, but which are you a little more of? Intuition for romantic versus analysis for classical. Intuition, style of thinking is driven more 
by gut feel and confidence derived from experiences. Analysis. The style of thinking is stepwise and logical. Spontaneity for romantic versus education for classical. Misguided intrusion to education. Education. Abstract idea of education is very important. Honesty for romantic versus politeness for classical. Honesty. Allergic to the idea of being having secrets. Politeness. Accept an important role for secrets and white lies. Idealism for romantic versus realism for classical. Idealism. Often furious with governments. Realism. Consider the standards of government across history. Rare for romantic versus everyday for classical. Everyday. Familiar enough with extremes to welcome things that are boring. What, what personality, personality you are belong? A romantic or a classical? Kayo nakikinig sa Arts Grade 9. Kasama si Teacher Monica J. B. You have just listened to an infomercial titled What Personality You Are? A Romantic or a Classical? Were you able to understand the infomercial? Yes, yes ma'am! Ma what is all about the infomercial you just have listened? Ma'am! It is a personality test whether if we are a romantic or classical personality. Good idea! I guess you already know what personality you are based on the infomercial. The words romantic and classical usefully bring into focus important themes in our personalities. We are all both, but which are you a little more of? Intuition versus analysis. Spontaneity versus education. Honesty versus politeness. Idealism versus realism. Rare versus everyday. To conclude, what is your personality? Ma'am, I am more of romantic. Wow! Who else? Ma'am, I listed more on classical. Whatever your personality is, what is more important is that you were able to distinguish your themes of personality within yourselves. This time, let's discuss the major period of arts, the Romanticism and the Neoclassicism. What is the time frame of Romanticism and Neoclassicism? Ma'am, the time frame of Neoclassicism is 1780 to 1840, while Romanticism is 1800 to 1810. Very good! Neoclassicism and Romanticism were the movements after the Rococo period that flourished across Western Europe and the United States which spanned approximately from the late 18th to the 19th centuries. This time, let us deepen more our understanding about Neoclassicism and Romanticism. I'll be right back after this short infomercial. naman ng painting mo. Talaga ba, nanay? Pinaghirapan ko pa pong gawin ito. Siyempre, anak. Elementarya ka pa lang. Nakitaan na kita ng talento sa pagguhit. Lalo ka pang gumaling ngayon. Nasa junior high school ka na. Kumare! Oh, mare. Napasyal ka. Halika, tuloy ka. Napadaan lang ako, mare. Oh, Nagpipinta pala tong inaanak ko? Ay, oo naman, Mare. Tignan mo ang artwork niya. 
Nakaka-amaze, di ba? Aba! Kitang-kitang pagiging creative ng inaanak ko ah. Napakaganda at napakagaling mo naman. Ipagpatuloy mo yan. Saan ka ba magmamana yan? Siyempre, sa nanay. Talento? Huwag itago. Ipakita? Ibahagi at linangin ito. Sa si inyong kinabukasan ay magagamit ito. Isang mensahe mula sa MAPI Department at ng himpilang ito. Kayo nakikinig sa Arts Grade 9. Kasama si Teacher Monica GNGP. I'm back! Today, I will share with you the seven things we need to know about new classicism. Are you now ready? Yes, ma'am! We are now ready! Ma'am, what are the seven things that we should know about neoclassicism? Great question, class! These are Rococo, features of neoclassicism, engraving, neoclassical paintings, sculptures, and architectures. Neoclassicism evolved at 1780 to 1840. The word neoclassic came from the Greek word neos, neos, meaning new, and the Latin word classicus, which is familiar in meaning to the English phrase first class. First class. What are the characteristics of neoclassical arts? Ma'am. The characteristics of neoclassical arts include portrayal of Roman history, formal composition, the use of diagonals to show the peak of an emotion or moment versus a regular moment, local color, overall lighting, and classic geostructure. Very good! Aside from those, Neoclassical arts include a concentration on Greek and Roman mythology and history for subjects, a prioritization of the heroic male nude, bright primary colors in painting, and highly polished marble in sculpture. Let us talk about the neoclassical artists with their famous art breaks. First, the neoclassical paintings. What are the subjects of their paintings? Ma'am, more on Greek and Roman history. Yes, absolutely correct. <laughs> neoclassical artists embrace the ideals of order and moderation in which Artistic interpretations of classic Greek and Roman history were restored to realistic portrayals. First on the list, we have Jax Lewis David. Wow! Jax Lewis David! What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were The Death of Marat, Napoleon Crossing the Alps, and Oath of the Horati. You enumerated it well! Very good! Second on the list, we have Jean August Dominic Ungra. Jean August Dominic Ungra? Yes! What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were The Apotheosis of Homer and Portrait of Napoleon on the Imperial Throne. Wow! I like your answer! Let us move to neoclassical sculptures. What is all about their sculpture? Ma'am, I think it is all about Roman styles during the time of Alexander the Great. Correct! The neoclassical period was one of the great ages of public sculpture. Artists looked to Roman styles during the time of Alexander the Great for inspiration as well as to mimic their style. First on the list of the neoclassical sculptors, we have Antonio Canova. Antonio Canova? Yes! What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were 
Psyche on Weekend by Cupid's Kiss and Washington. Amazing! Next of the new classical sculptors is Bertel Thorvaldsen. Bertel Thorvaldsen? Yes! What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were Christ and Lion of Lucerne. Wow! Great answer! Let us move to new classical architectures. What is all about their architectures? Ma'am, new classical architecture was a style principally derived from the architecture of classical Greece and Rome and the architectural designs of the Italian architect Andrea Palladio. Correct! What are the three types of neoclassical architecture? Ma'am, there are three types of neoclassical architecture. The temple style, Palladian style, and classical block style. Correct! What is temple style? Ma'am, temple style building design was based on an ancient temple. Correct! Most famous temple style buildings of the neoclassical age were Pantheon in Paris by Jack Germain Soufflat, British Museum in London by Robert Smirk and La Madeleine de Paris by Pierre Alexandre Vignon. How about Palladian style? Ma'am, Palladian buildings were based on Andrea Palladio's style of villa construction. Great! Palladian style have vertical supports within a balustrade known as balusters or spindles. It is also a classical method of crowning a building that has a flat or low-lying roof. Most famous Palladian style buildings were White House and the United States Capitol by Robert Adam. How about classical block style? Ma'am, classical block style features a rectangular or square plan with a flat roof and an exterior rich in classical detail. Correct! Classical block aesthetic, also known as Buza style, since it was developed principally by the French Ecole de Buza, or also known as School of Fine Arts. Most famous classical block style buildings were Library of Saint Genevieve by Henry Le Brustet, Paris Opera House by Charles Garnier. New York Public Library by Career and Hastings Architectural Firm and Boston Public Library by Charles Pollen Mackin. If there are seven features of neoclassicism, there are seven interesting facts we need to know about Romanticism. What are these seven interesting facts, ma'am? These are Eltras de Mayo 1808 is an icon, natural disasters were a common subject, back to Eden, fantasy also played a role, animals were also a focal point, it was high drama, and French Romanticism was led by Eugene Delacroix. Romanticism was a movement in which the artists of neoclassical period sought to break the new ground in the expression of emotion, both subtle and stormy. What are the characteristics of romantic period of arts? Characteristics of romanticism show the height of action, emotional extremes, celebrated nature as out of control, dramatic compositions, and heightened sensation or life and death moments, ma'am. Very good! Aside from those, romantic art focused on emotions, feelings, and moods of all kinds including spirituality, imagination, mystery, and fervor. The subject matter 
varied widely including landscapes, religion, revolution, and peaceful beauty. Let us talk about the romantic artists with their famous artworks. First, the romantic paintings. What are the subjects of their paintings? Mom, more on landscapes, portraits, and figures. Yes, absolutely correct. The paintings of the romantic period give more emphasis on emotion. Artists express as much feeling and passion as it could be on a canvas. First on the list, we have Jean-Louis Theodore Jericho. Jean-Louis Theodore Jericho? Yes! What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were The Raft of the Medusa, Charging Chasher, and Insane Women. Very good! Second on the list, we have Eugene Delacroix. Eugene Delacroix? Yes. What was his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artwork was Liberty Leading the People. Wow, very good. Third on the list, we have Francisco Goya. Francisco Goya? Yes. What was his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were The Third of May, Saturn Devouring His Son, and The Burial of Sardine. Wow! I like your answer! Fourth on the list, we have Theodore Rousseau. Theodore Rousseau? Yes! What was his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were Dirt Line Fisher and the Landscape with a Plowman. Great! And last, we have Jean Baptiste Camille Corot. Jean Baptiste Camille Corot? Yes! What was his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were. The Church of Maricel, Near Beauvais, and Le Reposos Les Sol. Wow! I like your answer! Let us move to romantic sculptures. What is all about their sculpture? Ma'am, I think it is all about human anatomy. Correct! Aside from human anatomy, Romantic sculpture can be divided into works that concern about the human world and those that concern the natural world. First on the list of the romantic sculptors, we have Francois Rude. Francois Rude? Yes! What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were Departure of the Volunteers and Jim the Art. Amazing! Next of the romantic sculptors is Antoine Louis Berray. Antoine Louis Berray? Yes. What were his famous artworks? Ma'am, his famous artworks were Hercules sitting on a bull and Theseus slaying the Minotaur. Wow! Great answer! Let us move to Gothic Revival Architecture or Neo-Gothic. What is all about their architectures? Mom, Neo-Gothic buildings were featured castellation. Correct! Many of Neo-Gothic buildings feature castellation in which the walls and towers are crenellated in imitation of medieval castles. Architects who used neo-Gothic style were Charles Barry, the Westminster Palace, and James Renwick of St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York. Here in the Philippines, the ideology of neoclassicism and romanticism 
can be seen through various major artworks such as paintings, sculptures, and architectural structures. Some of the well-known contributing artists express their skills and ideas in their own respective field of specialization. First, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo y Padilla. Felix Resurrection Hidalgo y Padilla? Yes! His famous artwork was the Christian virgins being exposed to the populace. Second, Juan Luna y Novicio. Juan Luna y Novicio? Yes! One of his famous artworks was the Espolarium. Third, Fernando Cueto Amorsolo. Fernando Cueto Amorsolo? Yes! His famous artwork was Planting Rice with Mayon Volcano. Fourth, Guillermo Estrella Tolentino. Guillermo Estrella Tolentino? Yes! Two of his famous artworks were the Oblation of the University of the Philippines and Pambansang Bantayog ni Andres Bonifacio. Fifth, Napoleon Isabelo Veloso Abueva. Napoleon Isabelo Veloso Abueva? Yes! His famous artwork was Sham na diwata ng Sini. Did you get the information? Yes, yes ma'am! Ma Let's have some more after this short reminder. Nangangamba ba ka magka-COVID? Ah, ah, ah! Huwag mag-alala! Narito ang mga tips upang makaiwas sa COVID-19. Una, social distancing. Umiwas muna sa matataong lugar. Huwag lumabas ng bahay kung hindi naman kinakailangan. Kung may distansya, safe ka! Ikalawa, panatiliin malinis ang katawan. Ugaliin ang paghugas ng kamay. Sabon at alkohol are real. Palakasin ang katawan. At vitamins ay huwag kalilimutan. At ikatlo, Laging magsuot ng face mask bilang proteksyon laban sa virus. Kung protektado, siguradong sa virus ay nakatibo. Mga kapatid, tips ay tandaan upang COVID-19 ay maiwasan. Isang paalala mula sa Tonya Aurora National High School at ng impilang ito. Kayo'y nakikinig sa Arts Grade 9. Kasama si Teacher Monica GLGP. You have familiarized yourselves with the background of neoclassical and romantic period of arts. Let's start answering the activities. On page 2 of your learning activity sheets, activity 1 titled, Identify Me! Identify Me! Directions. Identify which historical period each artwork belongs to. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Let us answer number one. Liberty leading the people. What is your answer? Ma'am, the answer is romanticism. Correct! Do the remaining items in your most convenient time after the broadcast. Let us answer activity 2 titled Tell Me! Tell Me! Directions Identify the artworks from neoclassic and romantic period. Explain the characteristics of the given artworks by answering the guide questions from the table. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. For your activity 3, titled, Up to Date. Up to Date. Directions. Draw or paint an artwork in the style of neoclassicism or romanticism. Give a title and a short description about your work. 
be guided with the materials and criteria for evaluation on pages 3 to 4 of your learning activity sheet. You may work on this activity in your most convenient time. Let us summarize your learning today. What have you learned from our lesson? Ma'am, Neoclassicism and Romanticism evolved during 1740 to 1850. Correct! What else? Ma'am, art forms of the Neoclassic period were produced in the late 18th century. These artworks are influenced by ancient Greece and ancient Rome. I like your answer! Another answer! Ma'am, some of the famous artists of the Neoclassic period are Jean Auguste Dominique Anger, Jacques Louis David, and many more. Very good! Another answer! Ma'am, Romanticism is highly contrasted with Neoclassicism. Correct! Another learnings? Ma'am, these are the famous artists during the Romanticism. Eugene Delacroix, Francisco Goya, Frank Warud, and many more. Very good! For your last activity, answer the reflection part. Here is the question. If you would live during Neoclassic and Romantic period, what type of artwork would you prefer? Painting, sculpture, or architecture? Justify your answer. That's all for today, my dear learners. I hope you have learned a lot from our discussion. Do not forget to message your respective MAPE teachers through their mobile phones or messenger chats if you have questions. I would like to acknowledge the teachers behind this RBI lesson, Teacher Mark John R. Domingo, our script writer. Teacher Dante N. Hulaton, our content editor. Teacher Beverly L. Ramirez, our language editor. Teacher Arnel Villagasca, our technical specialist. And our overall quality assurance team, Ma'am Jacqueline L. Partible, Head Teacher Tree of Filipino Learning Area. Sir Ferdinand G. Del Rosario, Head Teacher Tree of ESP Learning Area. Ma'am Emily C. Valenzuela, Head Teacher Tree of AP Learning Area. Sir Leonidas C. Bernardo, Head Teacher Tree of MAPE Learning Area. And Dr. Rodrigo V. Pasqua, Chief Education Supervisor and Officer in Charge of the School. This is your radio teacher, Teacher Monica Jillian Pin, saying, Don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Thank you everyone and goodbye! Coming up next is our RBI live discussion. Education and Health Mga arali na dapat malaman ang inyong tututukan dito sa Dance Radio Ang istasyong magbibigay ng edukasyon kahit saan Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio Totonya Aurora National High School Santa Rita Aurora Isabel Ang silid aralan sa Raradyo 106.3 DWTRFM DWTRFM Dance Radio Sa MAPE, learning is amazing
wala nang makakapigil pa. Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Okay, we're back to the second segment of our airing. This time, we'll be talking about arts education. And in our arts education, we talk about neoclassical arts and romantic arts. Wag na tayong magpatumpik-tumpik, Sir MJ and Sir Ibes, because we have a very limited time to discuss what is all about neoclassical and romantic arts. Let's begin, Sir MJ. Yes, sir. So let's start with neoclassicism. Uh, during 1780s to 1840s. So, saan ba nang galing itong salitang to? Uh, galing sa Greek word neos meaning new and the Latin word classicus which is a similar meaning to the English phrase first class. So, the Western movement in decorative and visual arts was called neoclassism. So, let's start with the characteristics. Ano nga ba ang uh, characteristics ng uh, neoclassical phrase? portrayal of the Roman history, formal composition, the use of diagonals to show the peak of an emotion or moment, local color, overall, li overall lighting, and classic JU structure. So, makikita nyo sa kanilang artwork yung mga portrayal ng Roman history. Yung mga, ano na yun, Alexander the Great, that is Roman history. So, let's start with neoclassic classical painting. Okay, so uh, neoclassical neoclassical artists embrace the ideals of order and moderation in which artistic interpretation of classic Greek and Roman history were restored to realistic portrayals. Alam naman natin yung mga grade 9 learners natin, alam pa nila yung Roman and Greeks. Natatandaan pa nila yung mga yan. So, Sino yung mga artist natin uh, under this neoclassical painting? First is Jack Lewis David. Ano yung mga kanyang ginawa? We have the death of Marat, Napoleon crossing the Alps, we have also John August Dominic Ingres. So ano yung mga ginawa niya? We have um, portrait of Napoleon on the imperial throne. Take note ha, paintings itong mga ito, itong mga ginawa nila, pero parang uh, totoo. The Apotheosis of Homer, ayun lang. Ayan. So yun yung mga paintings, Sir Ibes. This time, um, let's take up neoclassical sculpture. Ano nga naman ang sculpture? Ang sculpture is 3D, di ba? The neoclassical period was one of the great age of public sculpture. Artists looked to Roman style during the time of Alexander the Great for inspiration as well as to mimic their style. Okay? Uh, actually, ito yung mga artists under, under uh, sculpture. By the way, ang sculpture that time is for public viewing. Unlike before, hindi siya for public viewing. Ang um, una dito is Antonio Canova who is from Italy. Ano nga ba yung mga work ng Antonio Canova? Let's try to see it. Psyche, Awakened by the Cupid Kiss, is one of the masterpieces of Canova. Aside from it, we have also Washington, the President of the United States of America. Another uh, artist under sculpture, we have Bertolt Torvaldsen of Denmark. And here are the work of Torvaldsen, Christ. Aside from Christ, we have Lion of Lucerne. Meron pa ba, Sir MJ? Let's proceed, Sir uh, Dante, sa neoclassical architecture. So, pag sinabi natin architecture, ito yung mga building during this period. So, uh, neoclassical architecture was style principally derived from the architectural designs of the Italian architect Andrea Palladio. So, there are types of neoclassical architecture and let's start with temple style. So, pag sinabi natin temple style, uh, this design was based on an ancient temple. 
So, naka-focus mainly on applying classical elements to churches and modern building, building like palazos and villas. So, itong mga build, temple building na to ay uh, feature a Perez style or continuous line of columns around a building, a rare feature of Renaissance architecture. So, here are the examples. We have Panchon of Paris, gawaya ni Jack German Soplot. We have British Museum of London, gawa po yan ni Robert Smirk. We have La Madeleine de Paris, gawa po yan ni Pierre Alexander Vignon. O, yan yung mga columns. Nakikita natin yan. Another style we have, Palagian style. So, this was, were based on Andrea Palagio's style of villa construction. So, ang kanyang feature may mga balustrade, which is railing with vertical supports along the edge of the roof. So, eto po yun. We have uh, architecture, architect Robert Adam. Ang kanyang gawa is the White House. We have also the United States Capitol. Another style, we have classical black style. And this uh, style features a rectangular or a square plan with a flat roof and exterior rich in classical detail. So, a rectangular ang kanyang feature. So, one architect here is Henry Labroste. At ang kanyang gawa ay the Library of St. Genevieve. We have Charles Garnier. At ang kanyang gawa ay Palais Garnier or a ne neo-baroque opera house. Let's proceed to Romanticism. Sir Ives? Okay. So when we talk about Romanticism, it was a movement in which the artists of neoclassical period sought to break new ground in the expression of emotion, both subtle and stormy. So what are the characteristics of uh, Romanticism? Height of action, emotional extremes, celebrated nature as out of control, dramatic composition, and heightened sensation, um, for example, life and death moments. So those are the characteristics of Romanticism artwork. Okay, regarding naman sa romantic painting, the painting of the romantic period gave more emphasis on emotion artists express as much feeling and passion as it could be on a canvas. Tignan natin kung sino yung mga artists under romantic painting, under portrait figures. Ang una, we have John Luis Chudor Jerry Cole. Okay, ano yung mga masterpieces ni Jerry Cole? Tignan natin. We have the Rap of Medusa, Charging Chisol, Insane Woman, and of course, we have also Eugene Delacroix. What are the different masterpieces of Delacroix? We have the Liberty Leading the People. It talks about nationalism, fight for nationalism. Next, we have Francisco Goya of Spain. Ano naman ang mga masterpieces niya? We have the 3rd of May, Saturn Deboring His Sign, the burial of sardine. Those are the different masterpieces and artists under portrait and figures. Yes, Sir Dante. So, tapos ka sa portrait. Let's talk about a romantic painting which is the landscape painting. So, uh, kanilang landscape painting depicts the physical world that surrounds us and in it includes such as mountains, valleys, vegetation, and bodies of water. Another important element shaping the mood of landscape painting is the sky. So, we have this painter, Chodor Rosu, John Baptist Camille Corot, and ito po yung kanyang gawa. We have the church, the church of Maricel, and kay Corot naman, Le Repos Sos Les Sols. Dirk Lane Fisher, landscape with a plow man. We have also Francois Rood. So, ang kanyang gawa ay Departure of the Volunteers. Jean D'Arc. We have also Antoine Louis Barrier. 
Wait, ang kanyang gawa, Hercules sitting on a bull. Ito sir, mga sculpture na to sir, di ba? Yes. We have also this Tissues, 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 Slaying the Minotaur, and let's proceed to Gothic Revival Architect. Ayan, bago so, na yan. Let's move on to the next period, the Gothic Revival Architecture. So, ano nga ba yung mga, an anong ibig sabihin nito? Gothic Revival, also referred to as Victorian Gothic or Neo-Gothic, is an architectural movement that began in the late 1740s in England. Many of the neg um, negotic buildings feature castellation in which the walls and towers are crenellated in Im imitation of medieval castles. So example here is the Strawberry Hill in London but it, sabi doon it was uh, restored already. Okay, then an artist is Charles Barry was the name behind Britain's foremost Gothic Revival monument, the Westminster Palace. Meron ba? Wala. Hindi natin na ano yung picture niya. Then we have also ja James Renwick, American work in the St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. Ay, ito yung yeah, Westminster. Yung Westminster Palace in London. Yeah. Pala yun. Then we have also the St. Patrick's Cathedral. Okay. Uh, out of this, ang neoclassicism and romanticism, despite the fact that it is, uh, it was originated in Europe and in the United States of America, we cannot deny the fact that in our history we are being colonialized by uh, Spain and at the same time the United States of America, and we are really influenced or give uh, the this neoclassicism and romanticism give impact to the Filipinos. And because of that impact, uh, our artists here in the Philippines are adopted the different styles of the European and the United States of America when it comes to neoclassicism and romanticism. Like, for example, in the work of Felix Resurrection, Hidalgo Padilla. Ano ba ang work ni Felix Resurrection Hidalgo? Again, the Christian virgin being exposed to the populace. Makikita nyo the use of the light, uh, the composition itself, it sounds like our, it, it, there is a resemblance of a European masterpiece. Another, we have also Juan Luna. Juan Luna is a national artist in painting. Na kung saan, ang masterpiece ni Juan Luna that is present in the National Museum is the Spularium. Pakita nga natin yung Spularium, ayan, nanalo yan sa isang tawag dito, patimpalak, at naging, nanalo nga ito. Next, we have also Fernando Cueto Amarisolo wherein he is a landscaper. Mostly, ang kanyang topic is more on landscape. At ang kanyang uh, pinaka, isa sa pinakamagandang masterpiece is planting rice with Mayon Volcano. Aside from it, in the field of skull, uh, the sculpture, we have Guillermo Estrella Tolentino, who is the maker of the oblation sculpture at the University of the Philippines. Another artist is Napoleon Isabello Belos Abueba, who is also uh, the father of modern Philippine sculpture na ang ginawa niya ay ang siyam na diwata ng sining. That's the work of Abueba. And of course, uh, different parts of our country, different structure uh, in the different places of our country are actually created out of neoclassicism and romanticism style. Like for example, Bureau of Science and Insular Laboratory. We have Ilo Ilo Customs House. We have also Paco Train Station. Sorsogon Municipal Building. Cebu Normal School. At wag na tayong lumayo. Even here in our place in Aurora or here in the province of Isabella, a neoclassicism and romanticism style of architecture are very visible. We now proceed. So that's it. That's all about the art of the neoclassical and romantic, romantic period. Okay, let's try to sum up. Okay, so to sum up, we talk about um, neoclassical and romantic period and their characteristic. What more, sir, MJ? Yes, sir. Napag-aralan din natin ng mga iba't ibang artists in the field of uh, architecture, painting, uh, paintings, sculpture, sculpture 
Ayan, Sir Dan. And of course, their masterpieces. Yes. We now proceed to the run-through of our activity, Sir MJ. Activity 1, identify me directions. Identify which historical period each artwork belongs to. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Sir Ibis. activity number 2, I tell, tell me you're going to identify the artworks from neoclassical a neoclassic and the romantic period. You're going to explain the different characteristics of the given artworks by answering the guide questions from the table. And for activity 3, activity 3 up to D. We are talking about neoclassicism and we are talking about romanticism. And one of the characteristics of neoclassicism and romanticism focus on landscape. And then of course, grade 9, for your arts, your performance test that you're going to work is photography. And on that photography, your main topic will focus life on the farm. Okay, life on the farm. Na kung saan, this is in relation to the activity of the MAPE Club. We're in, uh, what's the title, that, uh, title Sir MJ? MAPE Club Photography Fest 2022. Ayan. So, photography po kasi nag-drawing na po kayo sa music kanina. This time, ang performance task ninyo will be photography. Okay? Sasubmit nyo yan. And take note, siguro ito ang uunahin ng ating mga grade 9 na submit your photography output because uh, generally, the submission of your output or the deadline submission of your performance task will be on Friday to your respective MAPE teacher. I hope it is clear to all of you. You, you. you set aside the given performance activity on your learning activity sheet, but we are going to debate it with photography. I hope clear yan, grade 9 learners. So that's it, Sir MJ. We are done with music education and arts education. I hope you learn a lot in our airing, our discussion this morning, and I hope the things that you are that you have learned, you're going to apply it in your real life. Hindi lang, hindi lang sa real life nyo, in your future life, magamit nyo ang mga bagay-bagay na ito, kung ano man ang, ang tawag dito, tatahakin ninyo sa, buk at sa, sa inyong bu buhay. Thank you very much for attending our airing on the, our live streaming and listening through radio. May sasabihin ka pa, Sir MJ? Uh, wala na, Sir. Nasabi na lahat. <laughs> Ikaw, Sir Ibes. Ayun, um, magpasa nung ano, performance Yan. na... Yan. Magpasa ng performance test ninyo, lalo na sa photography until Friday. Yan. So, dyan na po nagtatapos ang ating airing ng ating Music Education 9 at Arts Education 9. Magkita-kita pa tayo next week sa isa na namang mas magandang episode ni Hinanda ni Sir Ibes para sa ating lahat. Festival na festival tayo next week. Bigyan na natin sila ng clue. Yan, festival na festival tayo. Muli, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo sa ating airing. Ako si Sir Dante. At ako po si Sir MJ. Ako si Sir Ibes. Pakatandaan pala Music, Arts, Physical Education, and Health. Mga aralin na dapat malaman inyong tututukan dito sa 106.3 Dance Radio. Ang istasyong nagbibigay ng edukasyon kahit sa man at ang siglit aralan sa radyo 106.3 DWDRFM. Sa mape, learning is amazing! Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo. Hating namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapagmaga, tanghali o hapon man yan. Ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. For something big. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio Doña Aurora National High School Santa Rita Aurora Isabela This 106.3 DWBR-FM